<laughs> What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and uh so I'm trying to play some Fortnite. <laughs> now it needs to run easy anti cheat, right? So I went to the anti cheat to get a Windows uh program files, all that good shit, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game. Uh, and it said, you know, because I was trying to install it because it said it didn't have it, right? Well, it said uninstalling, and then it was installed. <laughs> Alright, and the first time I tried to run Fortnite after the game finally updated, it took me fucking, seemed like years, it mentioned something about the program hung and you had to close it. So, Fortnite done hung itself. <laughs> I don't know why I found this so fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's just a fucking program of a video game. And it just decided to head itself and had to close the program. And then I had to do, <laughs> do some other things. And it probably still won't work because I'm trying to run Fortnite. It's just running Fortnite. And again, I'm, I'm making a video, so... Uh, yeah. I really hope this actually works. Because if it doesn't, something wrong is about to happen in my life. And we're just going to probably wait for that while I just talk about something. So, you might be wondering to yourself. You might be wondering, William, why in the holy fuck are you playing Fortnite? Why do you want to play Fortnite? Why are you crazy? Well... I'm crazy because I'm crazy. It it's just the way it is. I'm just gonna change that around to six forty. Oh my god! I, I broke it. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I am so fucking huge. And that's what she said. That's what she said about my dick. Alright, so... Uh, so, for those of you that are wondering... It's like, why... Are you playing Fortnite? Well, the reason I'm playing Fortnite is because I can, right? Because, hey... I'm a gamer! Now, just because a lot of people out there, they say that Fortnite isn't as good of a game as... Other games... And they think that Fortnite should not be played. Well, um, you're crazy. Alright, yeah, it's a battle royale. It's not that bad of a game, actually. I think the reason why a lot of people just don't like it is the fact that it was overhyped and everybody and their dog is playing it. Okay, uh, <laughs> close the game. I, then I guess okay, so it had to close Fortnite Probably some recording or some shit. Maybe the processing isn't good. I don't know But Fortnite is not a bad game. I think the reason why a lot of people hate it is the fact that it's over overpowered and stuff like that now Minecraft It basically took over Fortnite in terms of popularity uh, Minecraft was the king of video games for a while in terms of popularity and then Fortnite came took over then Minecraft went back so I don't know but a lot of people they don't like Fortnite because oh okay a battle royale game that everybody's playing and it's a meme just because a video game is a meme doesn't mean it's a bad thing alright I've had some people tell me don't play Fortnite. Don't. No. 
bad human. Bad, whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> now I'm like, it's Fortnite. It's, it's, my, my, it's, it's, it's a free game. It's a free to play game. All right. If something is free to play and it's good enough that the majority of people are playing it, the majority of internet people are playing it, then that must mean something is good about the game. Plus, hey, it's a video game. And it's free to play. If it's a free to play game, I'm all in that. I'm all up in that goddamn business. Because, hey, it's a free to play game. And if the game's not bad, then I'll play more of it. If the game's not good, it's free. So I don't have to waste any money. Now, I do have to admit, the game isn't as good as a lot of people are saying. Now, part of that is because of the whole V-Bucks system. Now, V-Bucks can be obtained, it's basically money for Fortnite. You know how you have Robux or whatever the fuck that shit's called in, in Roblox? Now, that is a bad game, alright? that I just don't like Roblox. It sucks. It, it, that's a game that I do not like. And I do not want to play. And, you know, a lot of people, they're the opposite. They're like, oh, I don't want to play Fortnite. Fuck Fortnite. I I like Roblox. I play Roblox every day. I play Minecraft every day. I play Pokemon Go every day. I masturbate every day. But I do not play Fortnite every day. And me, I'm like, well... Do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to play Fortnite every day, do it. If you want to play Roblox every day, do it. But just because... I mean, just don't hate on a specific game just because it's popular. Alright? I don't hate Roblox because it's so popular. I hate it because it's just not that good of a game. And it's not... It's it's nothing. It's... It, it, it's... I mean, yeah, there are some good things. Like My Little Pony whatever where, where you can be Fluttershy or uh you can actually play Fortnite in Roblox if you can't uh if you don't if you if you want to play a watered down version of Fortnite then you can play it on Roblox but Roblox it's not it's it's no no it, it's not my kind of thing and a lot of people are probably going to hate me for that but fuck it I don't care um but Fortnite, I think, a lot of people hate it only because it's popular. The game's not bad, and it's a decent game. And also, I think some people hate the game because they played it, and they got their ass handed to them. Yeah, uh, there have been a lot of people that have been playing the game since it came out, and are still playing today. So, a person like me is going to die, and die, and die, and die, and die. And possibly die, you know. <laughs> but I think the whole point of video games we, I, is what we've lost track of. We, we've lost sight of video games as a whole. Uh, it's not about if the game is playable or not. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a big part. Fortnite is playable. Roblox, to an extent, is playable. Uh, and the other games that are being played right now, like Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare and and, and Battlefield and, and FIFA and every other video game that's out there right now is being played. Now, it's playable as well. But the whole point of video games is to have fun about it. Even if a game sucks ass and a lot of people hate the game, like let's say for example... Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Everybody hates that game, but I love it, you know? And there's a lot of glitches, yes. There's a lot of things that go down within that game that a lot of people just uh, just don't like. But it's it's a good time. It's a really good game, really fun game, amazing and beautiful. And I have fun with it, so that's all that matters, really. And I think if you can have fun with a, a specific video game, it doesn't matter. But I, I think we've gotten to the point now where everybody is like, oh, okay, so you like Fortnite. Oh, you're stupid because it's Fortnite. Or, oh, you like Roblox. You're fucking, you're, you're dumb as shit because you like Roblox. Oh, you like Minecraft? Well, fuck you, PewDiePie. And, and it's it's like, um, I, I don't know. 
I mean, we've we've gotten to that point now where uh, we people hate on video games just because it's popular, just because it's whatever, and because that people all the time it just they they don't. Back in the day, uh, let's see. Let's say for example, drop some things. Get my TR out of the way and get my my space out of the way. And get. So let's say, for example, Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. The GameCube days. The GameCube days were good days. And also earlier, like the PS1 and the N64 and even the Super Nintendo. Video games were all about having fun. All about, you know, whatever. It wasn't about popularity. It wasn't like, oh, I hate this game because it's so popular with people. Oh, I hate this game because, you know, I die all the time. Or, I hate this game because everybody and their dog is playing it. And it's become a joke and a meme at this point. And I think that's what we've gotten ourselves into in this day and age. We focus more on, you know, the meme aspects of video games. And the fact that they're being overplayed now i do have to admit yes it is kind of being overplayed you know on youtube and twitch and stuff but isn't that what you want isn't that what you want as a game designer as a, a person that likes a game that you know you you play a lot of to see a lot of other people playing it and share the same interests as you it's like oh you like fortnite as well yeah let's join forces or uh, or, oh, you want to play some Mario Kart or something like that? I got Mario Kart, you know? But instead, we're like, ah, this game is so unplayable. Fuck this game, it sucks, it's horrible. Oh, do Eternal. Oh, that game sucks, even though it's not already out, but I can hear it. I can hear it right now. The game comes out. Everybody's like, oh, fuck Doom Eternal. No, nope, fuck it. Nope, the game sucks. Nope. Even though there's probably nothing wrong with the game. Uh, and if they're delaying the game, then it's probably going to be better. <laughs> but they're focusing on, oh, you know, Battlefield sucks or Call of Duty sucks. You know, it's not playable or whatever. I mean, it is playable. But I think people are just not having enough fun with the games and everyone's hating video games. I, I think we've gotten to the point in video games where it's like... We, we, we have reached a dark point in video games. Um, a point where it's not like the, the, the GameCube days or the Wii days. You know, when the Wii was popular and the GameCube. You know, there was a lot of good games, a lot of quality, right? Well, it's like we've gotten out of that. We've gotten to the point now where everyone is hating video games because they're either popular or... These game designers, they're like, oh, no, no, no. Let, let's microtransaction everything. <coughs> EA. <coughs> Activision. <coughs> Sorry. A little cough. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, in all seriousness, EA and Activision are the guilty people here. There's a lot more than that. Like, kind of Blizzard, in a way, being assholes. But, you know, it's just, that that's, uh, we've, we've gotten to that point where video games, a, a dark point in time, where we are basically saying, oh, you suck, you suck. Now, it's easy to do because I, as a gamer, a hardcore one at that, uh, look at games like World at War, Black Ops 1, and then I see what Activision is doing with their newer games, such as World War Two, Modern Warfare, Black Ops Four, and I'm like, yeah, uh, it's it's not Call of Duty anymore. It's not as good as it should be, but that doesn't mean anything. Just because a game, I mean, yeah, it could be unplayable, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. I mean, shit, there are some games I enjoy them because they're buggy. Because they're glitchy. Because they are so whatever. And I, I'm having fun with certain games. And I also actively, uh, in some games that I know have a lot of glitches, I actively go out of my way 
to uh, find these glitches and find these it's these these things. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was, but uh, uh, yeah. But anyways, I thought I was gonna play some Fortnite. I might play later. I don't know. I might have to fucking do something to get it to work, but it's not working for me right now. Uh, I might have to reset the computer or something, but... But anyways, guys and gals, um, just remember, uh, just remember, it, just because a video game like Battlefield or Call of Duty or, um, Fortnite, just because it's either popular as fuck or whatever, doesn't mean you get to hate on it. It, it, it doesn't mean that you should hate on it because of that. Uh, and I can see why a lot of people hate Call of Duty right now, and and Battlefield and things. They're not as good as they used to be, and when Mass Effect and Andromeda came out, that was a mess. And, and video games are not as finished as they used to be. Again, for example, Mario Kart Double Dash. You know, there you have it. A game. Put it in your system, play you don't have to worry about updates. You don't have to worry about, you know, anything. It's just the game being finished. But now, it seems like every game is not finished. And that's why there's updates and shit. All the time. To fix what they could have done a while ago. When the game was released. I understand. Minecraft. You know, that game deserves to be updated because they're adding more and more things more features and stuff and they're thinking to themselves oh hey you know what if we add this to minecraft oh r remember this mod this particular modification to minecraft let's make that a base let's make that a part of this update oh uh these animals these uh food you know whatever these weapons let's uh, let's add some more and there you go. I mean, Minecraft is one of those games that actually update more often. But games like Call of Duty and and other games like fucking Battlefield or Diablo or something. Uh, no. Fuck, even Skyrim shouldn't be updated all that much. I mean, it, it's, it's something. It's, it's something else. Like, yeah.